Louisiana Beer Review Southern Comfort Lemon Lime Zesty Lemon and Lime Flavored Hard Soda. 5% alcohol. Introduced in mid-2021. Says a refreshing take on citrus lemon lime soda with iconic Southern Comfort fruit and spice flavors. Southern Comfort established in 1874. Their headquarters is in New Orleans, Louisiana. Malt beverage with natural flavors and caramel color. <clears throat> so not the, like the real Southern Comfort, which is spirit whiskey with flavors. 113th day of 2021 in Virginia, I guess this is, VA. I think Anheuser-Busch has an, a Virginia plant, 17 hours, 26 minutes. All right, that would have been at what, 5, 26 p.m. You say Anheuser-Busch, you were saying Sazerac. Sazerac is Southern Comfort, that's the owner. But it says Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Comfortcollection.southerncomfort.com, so it's the Comfort Collection. All right, um, sold at this time only in Alabama and Louisiana. So uh, an obvious collaboration. You can smell it already. So this is the first solo review for this product in the world. We did a duo review, really a trio review, and uh, my friend David was saying they're obviously trying to make it mimic a highball, which would be like some Sazerac whiskey with 7-Up. He said he would think it would be better over ice, this. It's golden from the caramel, or like a tan color from the caramel. It's um, sort of hazy. You could see little sediment all throughout, like little specks or white, whatever that is. Uh, could be from the spices they're adding. I've never had Southern Comfort. <laughs> I've never had the original Southern Comfort white label or the uh, black Southern Comfort black or the 100 proof, so I really don't know what it tastes like. I had the Southern Comfort Tabasco sauce collaboration, which was made years ago in a collaboration between obviously Brown Foreman, who used to own Southern Comfort, and McElhenney Company. Brown Foreman sold Southern Comfort to the Saz, really kind of selling it back to Sazerac in 2015 for $500 million. Because I think one of the Sazerac ancestors uh, might have been Handy of New Orleans had invented Southern Comfort in 1874. Still a very popular liqueur, Southern Comfort, of course. You can get on their website. They have all kind of merchandise, caps, shirts, glasses, the whole thing. The whole shebang, as my parents used to say. It smells like a cola, spicy. It's not a whole lot of aroma. Let's go with the taste. There's no head of foam nor lacing. It won't be. Now, if you ever see this in Canada, it'll probably be whiskey-based. In the U.S., it's going to be invariably beer-based, malt beverage. Um, hmm. now, he said 7-Up, but I, I disagree. It's more like Coca-Cola or maybe RC Cola type flavor, definitely. With, uh, yeah, like lemon lime addition and like some tea. Yeah, like cold uh, ice sweet tea. Medium body, dry in the, sweet in the flavor and dry in the finish which is not unusual for a malt beverage. Very prickly carbonation. On the Cyclops scale, it's gonna be four out of five sugar cubes. 
at a minimum on the bitterness scale zero out of five hop cones there's no bitterness if it's a malt beverage yeah it contains hops of a certain required level but that doesn't mean it has to have any kind of appreciable international bitterness unit and this doesn't but there's definitely an underlying whiskey flavor and I don't know what they're using for that because um, because I don't know and but but if you look at the Yukon Jack another product Sazerac acquired that time from Diageo but if you look at the Yukon Jack bottle carefully it says made with whiskey flavor a whiskey flavor how that is derived or yeah, it said natural whiskey flavor. How that's executed, I do not know. But um, this seems to have that. So it's, um, I imagine, <coughs> they must have done a lot of research and development. I imagine it's a pretty good mimic of a Southern Comfort Highball. But um, I never drank such a thing. But anyway, so the score would be an A. I don't drink these kind of things on the reg, as they say. But uh, it is very well made. Um, that's the market these days. Everybody's got this flavored malt beverage here, there, and everywhere. Um, but we'll go with 94 out of 100. And an A for what it is, even though we may not like what it is. I've got the 12-pack. This might be a test price, introductory price. But the 12-pack at Food for Less was $8.63 plus tax. $8.63 for a 12-pack. 12-ounce cans. They're not short and young cans, so... There's, there's two other flavors, so we're going to look at those. Um, so thanks for watching Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to St. Louis, Missouri, and tour the Anheuser-Busch Brewery, which is the brewery that gives tours, or go to New Orleans and visit the Sazerac House, which does give tours.